Good morning. The start of a new trading month, March. Also, end of the quarter coming up. So, uh, the month of March uh, has, is more important than January and February, where all the markets end up. And right now, the um, equities are pretty much in a trading range with maybe a lower bias. Hard to say the way the markets are reacting. Really tough to make sense of anything from a fundamental standpoint anymore. When you look at the rallies in crude, uh, you look at what supposedly is behind the rally in the stock market overnight. But um, our setups, uh, if we don't become selective, um, do work and will produce money. And that's the key, not being selective and doing what the uh, models tell you to do. As uncomfortable as that can be. Okay, uh, equities are higher. Uh, Chinese economic data came in below forecast. The EU's um, manufacturing PMIs came in a little bit higher than forecast. Not much, but a little. Great Britain's was lower. And today for the United States, we're going to have our manufacturing PMI um, from market 51.3 could come in lower than forecast. ISM index 48.5 could come in lower than forecast. And construction spending, I, I, I can't remember when construction spending has beat its number. So, focus will be ISM manufacturing index, and my guess is it could come in a little lower. Ironically, uh, that impact on the uh, stock market could be higher stock market prices because the Fed won't raise interest rates in March as they promised or handed or alluded to in January. And now they're backpedaling on. So um, this will be the fundamental news focus. I, I believe that the uh, direction of the E-mini for Treasuries will be just as important. And right now it's pointed higher. So for that, I think there is one cell left in the market and so 15 to 19 will be cell 1 23 27 will be cell 2 uh, support is at 8 so 5 to 9 will be buy 1 and then 29 to 01 will be buy 2 I think the first trade of the day is a short we can't bust the um, 130 08 area we can trade from the long side News comes at 10 Eastern, so it may take a while for the market to resolve itself. And the E-mini has been, I think, four out of the last uh, uh, six trading days, or three out of the last six trading days. Uh, E-mini has done nothing for the first hour, except chop people up, including me. It's funny, uh, when, when you read the news commentary and people scratching their head or throwing in the towel or frustrated as hell, um, everybody's suffering from the same uh, set of circumstances. The um, trading is controlled by the Fed and algorithms for the most part. Um, these large traders have the ability to absorb 5, 10, 15,000 um, contracts of buying or selling. Uh, with the Fed more and when you look at the imbalance at the end of the day quite often you'll see that you know, we had 10,000 contracts to the long side um, or 10,000 to the short side and that's what took the market higher or lower so the balances it, it doesn't take a lot to move a market uh, especially to the short side okay looking at the 30 year 11 to 15 be our first sell ban and then 2327 on the buy side 29 to 01 that's where support is then 17 to 21 for buy two and do like the short side better to retest the overnight session low if we can't crack it then we can go to the long side Both gold and crude are higher. And 
and uh, we find ourselves at 50 on gold so 49 to 51 sell 1 54 56 sell 2 on the buy side the breakout came uh, from what 42 so 40 42 by 1 and then 35 37 by 2 I think gold is still headed up for all the right reasons probably the easiest long to see out there especially given the behavior of uh, central banks and central um, governments right now okay the ECB talks on March the 10th next Thursday not this Thursday and they alerted the world in January that they're going to do something big in March. It wasn't required in January, but whatever was required would be done in March. So I think central banks right now um, have reached probably the, <coughs> the law of diminishing returns, economic law of diminishing returns has kicked in. And I really think that uh, the European Central Bank is more afraid is that if they do something big and in a major way and the market does nothing, what do they have left to address the economic problems? So um, the EU might actually once again say the economy's improved enough, we're on the right track, everything's looking good, that we don't have to do anything this thing. But at that moment when we have to do something in a big way, we're prepared to do it. Uh, that, that could be the outcome of the tent. Okay, um, we had 50 to 60 as a buy last night. Looks reasonable again. Then 25. Do you like the short side of the market? Um, 90 to the buck, sell one. 20 to 30, sell two. Okay, crude rallied in a big way. A lot of that buying yesterday afternoon came because of end of the month buying. And when we get see continuation today and in the overnight market we have seen continuation. So we, we're in our area where we've rejected prices at 34.50. Those stops above 34.50, 34.50, 75, sell one. 35, 35 and a quarter, sell two. On the uh, buy side, we've got volume at 33.44. The last low in London was 34 even. We're at 34.42, so 33.75, 34 by 1. And then 33.50, 33 and a quarter by 2. Failure to take out 34 and a half, 35, I think sets up a... Um, Pretty nice short. Short covering rallies in crude can run five to eight dollars. And um, right now the uh, shorts are under duress. Okay, E-mini, we're going to look at um, a couple of different charts. Okay, you can see that the, probably the cleanest break in the market is in this 1985 area. Uh, 85, give or take a little bit. Uh, we've got this high right here at 68. So, resistance... 60 to 85 
right now it's at 68 so that 65 to uh, 70 area would be a, a, a structural sell got pretty good support at 25 25 add 50 points to it takes us to 75 that's within reach uh, this low right here was at uh, 87 a um, hundred points off of that takes us to 77. Somebody will take profits there just because it's a hundred po points higher than the low that was set uh, on the bottom of this particular move. So uh, things should start to slow down when we get above um, the uh, 65 area. Looking at our F2 screen, excuse me, our F1. Yesterday's highs, 56, 57. Prior to that, we had 68. Right now, we're at 44.75. So we're going to have pretty good resistance at a round number 1950 as we start out this morning. So think they can get stops above the overnight session high. We'll put 49 to 54, sell 1. Then 59, 64, sell 2. On the buy side, 35 to 40, buy one. And then 25 to 30, buy two. ISM manufacturing number could come in lower than forecast. Right now they're looking at 48 and a half. Markets PMI, manufacturing 51.3, that could come in lower than forecast. Construction spending up a half, and that one never makes its number. It'll be interesting to see what happens when it does, and nothing will happen because no one really trades that. Gonna take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm gonna get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.